So our last video, we talked about how we got rid of the mold in our house here in Florida. And from that video, we got so many questions that we thought we would answer them here in a Q&A. Yep. So we will talk about your questions. <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm Bill. And I'm Elizabeth. Live simple. Live free. And like I said, questions. Lots of questions. They were probably things that I should have addressed in the video, but quite frankly, I didn't think about it. That happens. We were so inundated with basically four questions in the comments that I got to the point where I couldn't answer them anymore. So I thought this would be the better way to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Because we, we certainly read the comments and stuff, but it, answering the same thing over and over again, We'd right. rather do a Q&A. Right. <laughs> so the number one question or comment was something about, are you going to add a dehumidifier to the house? How are you going to keep the mold from, from coming back? Um, a good question. It's a very good question. I should have addressed that, but the mold that we got rid of was not from humidity. It was from the leak in the plumbing. Yes. And so we fixed the plumbing we replaced the moldy wood and then we got rid of the mold. So in my mind, this video was not about how to uh, control mold in the future. It was about getting rid of the mold from the plumbing leak. Yeah, because it had been leaking for a long time. It takes a lot to get rid of, to destroy a great big beam like that. So, so yeah. how to control mold in the future is kind of a little bit of a different topic but let's talk about it yes and it's still very valid yeah absolutely yes now I absolutely understand and absolutely agree that Florida is a very humid place mm -hmm. but I got news for you Florida isn't the only humid place <laughs> <laughs> there oh, is pretty goodness. there is pretty bad humidity all the way up and down the East Coast Georgia the Carolinas Alabama Mississippi East Texas well, and we, we um, had humidity in Virginia, yep. and we had humidity in Pennsylvania. Yep. Now, honestly, there weren't as many hot, super humid days. You know, Florida tends to be relentlessly pretty hot in the summer and humid. Right. But it, it still stayed humid um, where we were living before, especially in the summer. And in fact, in our house in Virginia, we have, uh, you know, HVAC, uh, air conditioning in the house. But down in the crawl space, I have, guess what? A dehumidifier. Yes, we keep a dehumidifier down there. And yes. it, it drips. I don't have to empty the bucket. I have it so it just drains and it drips constantly year round, uh, yeah. getting rid of humidity in the crawl space in our house. But I want to read one comment. Okay, this is a comment from Sandra on the uh, video about getting rid of the mold. And she says, I really thought, so silly of me, that when I moved from the coast of southeast Georgia to the Smokies of western North Carolina 10 years ago, I'd not have to deal with mold. That would be a big fat negative. <laughs> wow, I think it's worse. Ugh. Yeah. It so can still be humid. <laughs> basically, yeah, the, the humidity is really bad here in Florida, but you don't hold a corner on the market for humidity. <laughs> <laughs> Although we were, are very respectful of the fact that, especially in the summer, it's quite hot and quite humid right. here. Yes. <laughs> so what are we going to do for ongoing mold and humidity control well first of all we do have an hvac a, you know whole house heater air conditioner so when we're not here in the summer we are pro i'm probably going to keep the uh, air conditioner set at about 80 degrees so that if it gets really hot and humid the the air conditioner will control the humidity well and it'll just keep it from getting incredibly hot in the house right yeah and keep it fresher yeah um, but then I, I also recognize that there are many days where it only reaches 75 or 78 degrees and the humid is, humidity is really bad. So it won't, it won't kick in and it'll still be humid. So yes. we'll probably also add a, a dehumidifier. And a lot of you are saying, you know, I empty three gallons a, a day out of that dehumidifier. Well, we won't be able to empty it. I'm going to have to get one that will drain itself and we'll just leave it on, leave it running the whole time that we're not here. Yeah, yeah. We will have a dehumidifier going um, in the house um, with it, a place to drain out. Right. So then if we're actually here, we probably won't need that because I'll probably have the AC set at 72 or 74 or something like that. And that'll yeah. control the humidity in the house. 
So, so you know, we've run into that occasionally, even in Virginia, where it wasn't hot enough for the AC, but it was humid. Yeah, yeah. Be, it was 70 degrees outside, and it was too cold to turn on the air conditioner, but the humidity was like 98%. Yeah. So I'm grateful we have the one in the, in the crawl space. Right. Yeah. So anyway, that is the humidity. How do we? How are we? What are we going to do to control humidity in the future? And we do agree with everybody that it's important, important, important to keep up with that. Yeah. We'll, we'll leave you know closet doors open and all that stuff while we're gone and try to keep it dried out. Right. So then the next thing that an awful lot of you said is you're going to leave that old couch in there. <laughs> uh, well, yes and no. Yeah. Yes, for right now, because we have no furniture in the house at all. If it wasn't for that, we would have to bring in a lawn chair or something. <laughs> and, you? you know, we've put all our money into buying it and repairing it, and so there's nothing left to buy furniture. Not for a little bit here. So we'll be basically <laughs> camping out in the house for a while. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. So the couch was in the house when the uh, commercial dehumidifier was in there, and it got rid of all the smell, all the mustiness. So... Uh, Theoretically, hopefully, it sent the, any mold that's in the couch, it sent it into a dormant state just like it did in the rest of the house. And then it will be in the house when we fog it with the chemicals to kill the mold. That hasn't happened yet, but uh, that will happen. And so and we're not going to be in the house at much at all. Yeah, I'll, all, oh, sorry. I'll talk about that in a okay. minute. <laughs> so for now, we are going to keep the couch just because we don't have anything else. But that's uh, on the agenda to be one of the first things that we replace when we can actually afford it. Yes. Another question that I got a lot was, I didn't see you fix the leak, fix the shower. Did I miss something? <laughs> no, you didn't miss anything. What we did was, uh, as soon as we got here uh, six weeks ago, I crawled underneath and all I did was just cut off the two pipes that go to the shower that were leaking and put caps on them. So the shower has not been working. Uh, there's no water going to the shower. That's still a project that needs to be done is to run uh, new, a new shower head over on the other sh on the right side of the shower that doesn't leak. So that has not been uh, replaced yet, but the leak has been stopped. Yes, yeah. So I'm out of time now, and so that'll probably happen next time we come down. And the, you know, the, the shower um, head and everything now is gonna be on the right side of the shower so that we have that great access panel coming in from my office so we can keep an eye on everything. Right, so you'll see all that in some future video, but that's liable to be months down the road after we come back the next time. Yeah. 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 So, and then the last thing was, I talked about that we're going to have the whole house fogged with a chemical that's gonna kill the mold. And a lot of people, a lot of you, rightly so, are very concerned about Elizabeth going into the house after that chemical has been in there. So, <clears throat> it's not going to be fogged until after we leave, after yes. we go back to Virginia in a few days. Yeah. And when that happens, then we will be gone from Florida here for at least six weeks, if not more. Yeah. So there will be plenty of time for that chemical to outgas or whatever it does kind of dissipate dissipate yeah. whatever over six week period and then when we come back one of the first things we plan on doing the first day or two that we're back is have the entire house professionally cleaned yeah I'm gonna make the arrangements ahead of time right. and have be all set to go to get a crew in there to actually really really clean it and there's not gonna be much like furniture or anything in there so the whole place can be really gone over thoroughly right. so that's not only to clean any of that chemical off of the wood in the kitchen and the cabinets and all that kind of stuff but also um, dust construction dust from refinishing the, the floor and all those kinds of things and besides I'm a woman and I want the house clean before I move my stuff into it. Right. Uh, it's been sitting there for a long time. You know, I'm, I'm just moving in. I can't do it. I wish my hands could handle that. So I'm going to be very glad to get somebody in there just so I feel like I'm starting out with a fresh canvas, yep. you know, something nice and clean um, to put all my stuff away in the kitchen and all that kind of stuff. Now, <clears throat> many of you know, some of you don't, that our videos are generally at least a week to 10 days behind. That's some Sometimes longer. Yeah, that's normal for YouTubers. And yeah, YouTubers many times are two months behind on their videos. <laughs> yeah. um, and ours are not that far behind, but we're at least a week or two behind. So the, uh, the timing of some of this might be a little bit confusing. So here's what's happened. <laughs> I don't know how much you can see behind us, but right now we are in a beautiful place called Destin, Florida. So it's beautiful here. <laughs> over the past week, Barry and I 
spent four days, five days, refinishing the oak floors in the house. And they're absolutely beautiful. And we do have a video coming soon that will show all of that. Yes. With that done, that was the last thing that we had to do in the house. So we decided to take four days and come down here to Destin. I finally got a break for a few days. Right, well, and I, I made reservations here honestly like a year ago yeah so we've really been fighting to hang on to this little time here we've wanted to come for five years right. and bill definitely has needed a break right. i'm so glad and it's splendiferous here <laughs> so we're here for a for a long weekend a four-day weekend yeah that, yep and then when we leave here we're going to go back to the house in florida for like two nights and just wrap up a couple of things and then we're going to virginia and after we leave for Virginia, that's when the house will be fogged for the mold. Yeah. Yeah. So. And they're going to test. Yeah, and they'll test them for mold to make sure it's all clear. Right. They're really great people. I mean, you, you know, this was the, the owner's, well, owner's husband um, of the Airbnb. Right. And um, so they'll just leave the key on the, the counter, you yeah. know, and uh, I'm just so grateful. So literally by the time that we're coming back, which would be sometime after mid-April. At least. Yeah. At least. Um, because we, there's so much we have to do at home and doctor's appointments for me and testing and just a bunch of stuff. Um, but um, when we come back, the floor should have had a chance to become nice and cured, you know, and a lot of the smell, you know, totally gone. And the house should be very, very fresh as far as the mold and we'll get it cleaned right away. And then I am just gonna have an absolute ball, just taking my time and picking out a few things and actually being able to be at the house. <laughs> oh yeah, that's another thing too. We finished the, uh, the floor a few days ago and by the time we get back there it will be six days since I did the final coat of polyurethane. Yes. So when we left the house was smelling a lot like polyurethane. And, and I, I wasn't in there much at she all. She couldn't stay in there. By the time we get back hopefully a week has gone by hopefully most of the poly will have off gassed yeah. and we can go in there. Um, we're only planning on spending two nights there in the house because we no longer have the Airbnb. Yep. We're only going to spend probably two nights in the house before we head north again. If this, the poly smell is still too bad, then we'll have to get a hotel for the night. Yeah. And we might stay just one night and head, head north. Yeah. But anyway, we are giving very careful consideration to make sure that she's not in the house when the fogging is done or a after the polyurethane on the floor, all those chemical things are cleared before she goes in there. Yeah. Yeah. So I know so many of you are concerned about her health and all of that stuff. So that's our plan. I'm, yeah, I'm going to have to do a video pretty soon with what I know about what's going on. I still need to see the hotshot pulmonologist in April. But um, Yeah, if, after you have that appointment in April with the pulmonologist, then you'll be able to yeah, well, I give should, them more specifics. Yeah. Because um, we don't really still completely know what's going on. He called it, so far, interstitial lung disease. It's an autoimmune thing attacking my lungs. That's about all I know at this point. Um, and so he's, um, he's a, a, well, the guy that did the heart catheterization to check that valve, um, the two of them work closely together and they're fairly hot shots. So it took a long time to get the appointment, but he seems to be really sharp. So anyway, as soon as I know something, I'll kind of try to share, you right. know, so. Right. So I hope that answers most of your questions about the mold. Uh, like I said, hundreds and hundreds of you asked the same questions, right, and those four questions. Which shows that so, we need to address it. Right, right. <laughs> so it's so hard to anticipate when we do a video, to anticipate what kind of questions you're going to come up with out of the well, information that we gave. And, and, and what were things that we should have realized people wouldn't know, but we didn't think to make sure and explain it. So. Or things that I just take for granted, and of course everybody knows that. And well, no, you don't, <laughs> unless I tell you. <laughs> well, you know, it's a man thing. <clears throat> no, you miss things too. <laughs> I know, I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we just don't always realize. Um, you know, it's so easy just to feel like, well, there's certain information that's just sort of already standardly known, and that doesn't necessarily the case at all. Right, right. So, so there you go. Thanks for watching. Live simple. Live free. You be blessed. Yeah, love you guys. And I am going to be doing some things pretty soon here that show some of the little fun kitcheny things. Get a lot of comments about my girly stuff, so I'll when be you, doing. When it. you come back. And, and well, yeah, and I'll be. I'm going to be. Fun. I've got some stuff up in Virginia that I've been slowly accumulating, so I'll be showing those off too. Okay. Yep. All right. Thanks for watching. Yep. Bye bye. Bye bye.